Hello again and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will help you to set up WinBGIM uh, library by compiling source code in code blocks on Windows machine. WinBGIM is Windows C++ version of original Borland BGI graphics, uh, which was available in Turbo C++ and Borland C++ ID, but uh, these IDs are discontinued and nobody use it. And nowadays, uh, CodeBlocks ID with MinGW compiler is very uh, popular, especially in uh, open source project and cross-platform application. Uh, it is widely used in uh, universities and colleges, and college students use uh, CodeBlocks ID to create college projects. And also, uh, BGI graphics was very popular among students because it was very easy to learn and easy to implement. So still today, students want to use BGI graphics in CodeBlock ID to create their project. And and WinBGM is is the only available options. And and latest release uh, of uh, WinBGM library was in November 2005, uh, which is very old and it do not support. Uh, and do not compile in latest version of code blocks. So uh, we have to compile it by ourselves. So, <clears throat> so at first, uh, let me download source code. Uh, please go to this link winbgim.codecutter.org. winbgim.codecutter.org. And from this site, download source code. This binary release is also available but this is very old uh, so so let's download co source code let me go to download folder let me extract it okay these are source code let me open now let me open code blocks and let me create new project and from project template, select static library because we are compiling library files. So you have to select shared library. Go. I uh, so back. Cancel. Let me create again. New folder. Project static static library go next yeah and win bgim next finish let me remove this main.cpp file remove from project okay and let me copy all our library source code to our project source code i mean our project folder so this is our source code. Let me split this screen first. And let me open project directory. This is my project directory in BGIM. So remove this main.cpp permanently. Now copy all this file, all this source file, except this Mac make file and this project file when bgm project file and copy all these files to our project directory okay and now go to code blocks and from here add all these files uh, add file add files recursively because we are adding multiple files so this is our project directory so select this folder this when bgm select click ok and again click ok now we have all our source code and header file. And before that, go to project and select project properties. And select uh, build target tab. So here, uh, change the output file name because I want to make output file name just lib bgim. Uh, no, libbgi.a. So change the file name to libbgi.a. And do for release option also. libbgi. 
Okay, click. So for debug, libpj for release, rib, uh, libpj, okay. Now compile it. I'm sure there are many errors because uh, these code are written for older version. So we have to fix some of the errors by ourselves. Now it now only one. Okay. So all total, we got 47 errors. Okay. And now we'll fix it one by one. And our first error is string stream, no source file or directly. Okay, in bgi out.cxx file and comment this header in line one, add include as stream and remove this parcel std basic os system remove this part we do not need this save it now go to another error error in win bgim dot h header file in line two it is written error redefinition of int write so this int write change it to top it should be top not right and similarly open uh, graphics.h, this graphics.h, and go to line 302, line 302 here, no, okay, sorry, yeah. 302 here. So change right to top, okay. Now save it and go to another error, uh, narrow conversion, okay. So in miscellaneous misc.cxx file, we should remove this tilde sign. We do not need this one. So replace it with empty. Uh, let me keep this. So replace, replace this occurrence, yes, yes. Okay, we are done now. No, no, okay. So we fix this one and go to another one. Uh, error GLW user data was not declared. So, so for this in line, in drawing.cxs file in line 62, comment this line, this last line and on comment line 65. Okay, we should use this one and and another let me compile again but to make this error error message clean okay we have one error here okay uh Long PTR, not not capital PTR. It should be small PTR. P T R. Okay, small PTR. And save it. Go to another error. And this is in winthread.cxx file in line one hundred three. Comment this section, and on comment one hundred two line. And long PTR. GL. It should be GL. P, I guess, yeah, GLP user stands, stands long PTR. Okay, so we are done now. And for, let's go to another error. Okay, I think we are done. Let me compile it again. Yeah, so there is no more error and we ignore warnings okay if you if you want to fix it uh, this warning then yeah you can do it but for now i will leave it okay let me compile this um, uh, library in release mode
Okay, now our <clears throat> library is ready for, ready to use. Okay, let me go to project folder first. Not this one, this is our source folder. Let me close this, we do not need. Uh, let me, uh, this is our project folder. Okay, and go to inside bin and release. And this is our library files, compiled library files. We use a release one because it is small also and it is faster one. We do not use for, uh, uh, we do not use that debug version. Okay, we use only for release version and this file. Okay, so, uh, so it's better to uh, create separate directory to keep only compiled library files, okay? So, so I will create a new folder. Uh, I will create new folder, control N. I'll create new folder under C, C drive, new folder, WinBGIM. You can create anywhere, but I'm creating under C, a C drive because it is easy to remember. And inside WinBGIM folder, create another two folder and include and leave folder. Include and leave folder, leave folder. So inside leave folder, copy this library files, this, this uh, library file, compile library file, leave, lib leave bgi.a and inside include folder copy our header file this graphics.s and winbgim.s only these two graphics.s and winbgim sorry uh, graphics and winbgim these two file copy and paste inside include folder okay so these are these are these are the only required library files to create our WinBGIM project. So, okay, now let me create a sample project and configure this library in code blocks. Now we do not need this, um, this project. So let me close this one, close project, yes. And let me create another new project. Now this time we create C++ project, okay. Let me create empty project from the project template window. Select empty project, go. Project title, win, B, win, win B, BGIM, setup, test, and select next, finish. And let me add main, a new file, main.cpp file s uh, main.cpp okay okay and now uh, to configure win bgm library uh, select project and right click and go to build option and in uh, this left panel select debug option and under uh, linkers uh, source directed tab, uh, go to compiler tab and add our link, uh, sorry, our library include folder. Okay, go to our library project, I mean library directory that we have created. Uh, you remember that I have created under C that my project, uh, library project, uh, library directory is WinBGIM and I'll select include keep reality path, yes. Okay, let me copy this path to, okay, and under linker, give a path of that leaf folder. Okay, you not include, now give a lib, lib. You can browse from here also. You can browse from here, winbgim, because this is our library directory, winbgim, lib, select, Yes, okay. And do same for release also. Go to source directory, select release option, source directory tab, compiler, add include folder here in under compiler section. 
and under linker tab add a lib folder lib okay and now again select debug and go to uh, linker setting tab and here give a path of uh, give a path of our library files that lib bgi.a file click add button and we go in. This, is, this is our library file okay this is a linker file select this file and click yes okay and do same thing for release option add okay yes okay so and now uh, in other linker option we have to link um, another five linker and let, let me copy those linker from my plug so these are the five linker that we need <clears throat> in other linker option copy this five linker here We copy this linker and do same for release option also. Okay, so now let me verify again. Go to debug option in source directory compiler tab. We should link. Uh, we should give a path of our library in code folder. This is done. Linker lib folder. It is also done in a linker setting. We have a path of our uh, linker file binary linker, and we have edit other linker also and we did the same thing for release option also so now everything is set click ok now we configure win bgim library so let me compile sample application to verify the configuration okay and let me copy code from my blog i have another article for sample application so this is nice simple analog clock Copy source code from here and let me compile it. Okay, build. Yeah, it compiled successfully. Successfully, let me run it okay so if you are able to see this nice analog clock then congratulations you have configured winbgm library correctly